Welcome back, meteorologist Matt Urasavik here. And Matt, we're starting with the drought monitor from about a month ago because it, it has changed and boy, we've, we've seen some rains here in the last few weeks. Yeah, we have, especially in the Northern Plains states. We've seen it up in the Dakotas. That's really helped drought conditions up there and parts of the South saw improvements as well. And if we put our map into motion here, uh, since four weeks ago, we're going to see a little bit of change, especially out in the West, but still a lot of drought conditions uh, persisting in especially parts of Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico, where we're seeing extreme to exceptional drought. And that area right there has gotten a little bit worse. That's the area that we've seen a lot of those uh, fire weather outlooks over the past couple of weeks, even back into the Rockies and towards the Sierras and the San Joaquin Valley. Still very, very dry, but improvements were seen in the northern plains, up into the Pacific Northwest, and down along the Gulf Coast as well. Still abnormally dry in a few spots in the east, but again, we're going to be expecting a pretty uh, unsettled week ahead, and that's something that could factor into the next drought outlook coming up later this week. So here's a look at that precipitation heading through this week. Notice where most of it is right there in the center of the country, and it's not just a little bit of rain. This is showing upwards of three, four, five inches of rain in Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska. These are areas that really, really need that rain, even back up into the northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest, and then all of that spreads eastward, helping out some of those abnormally dry spots in the east as well. So here's a look at that jet stream, again, keeping it pretty unsettled with a couple of short waves moving through, another one coming in on Tuesday into the southwest, and then working its way up into the Rockies and eventually up through the center of the country. That's what's going to bring an unsettled second half of the week before the Midwest starts to dry out and it turns warmer as well. Temperatures this week, though, staying below normal there in the upper Midwest and Great Lakes. Below normal, though, for much of the south and southwest. If we look at the precipitation, it's going to be above normal for most of the country except for the southwest and the extreme uh, Great Lakes region and the Midwest. Here's the May temps, though, as a whole, cooler than average up in the north and warmer than average in the south and more precipitation expected along the east while staying dry back in the west. That's a look around the country. Now let's take a look at the weather where you live. Creola, Ohio, sunny and warm, a high of 74 degrees. Topeka, Kansas, cloudy with showers, a high of 67 and Goldendale, Washington, breezy with showers likely, a high of 51.